Hey there, guys. Buckle up, because we've got some hot tea brewing in the K-pop world. Now, who doesn't love a good concept change, right? But hold your bias hearts, because ITZY's latest concept for Born to Be is stirring up quite the storm. The comment section turned into a battleground. Some fans were all in, expressing intrigue and approval, like, it looks quite ESPA inspired, but I'm definitely intrigued. Others were quick to note similarities, saying, ESPA style, but I think it suits them. I like it. And there were those ready to throw shade, commenting, they look so ESPA. Ouch. But hey, not everyone was on board with a comparison game. Some fans rightly pointed, Espa didn't invent these styles. It has been here for ages. And others say, let's leave all of the ITZY and Espa hate. I would love seeing both of the groups at Blackpink's concert. Now, after hearing the web of opinions, you might be getting curious. So let's break this down. There's this whole debate on whether ITZY's new concept from their Born to Be album is a fresh turn or a copy paste job from other groups like Espa, Blackpink, and other groups. Think about it. Is it truly a case of imitation or are we just witnessing an evolution in style? It's like those remixes of classic songs, familiar yet different. Now, before we get all Sherlock Holmes about this, some fans are stepping in to play the peacekeepers. They're saying, hey, Itzy's just flipping the script from teen crush to girl crush. It's a makeover, not a copy paste job. But there are still doubters in the house waving the flags of suspicion. They insist this new vibe is giving off major Blackpink and Espa vibes and they're not letting letting it slide. And then there's a little side-eye action happening. Some netizens are side-eyeing JYP Entertainment, suggesting their visual direction might need an upgrade. Some eagle-eyed netizens couldn't help but draw comparisons, noting similarities between ITZY's new teasers and Red Velvet's Bad Boy poster from the ancient times five years ago. Now, let's talk lineup. Fans noticed the absence of ITZY's powerhouse vocalist, Leah, in their comeback lineup. Leah's known for tackling the toughest parts and lines, so her absence is like missing a crucial ingredient in. Your favorite dish? The fans are in turmoil, wondering if ITZY can hit those sky-high notes without their vocal ace. But hey, let's not jump to conclusions. Maybe ITZY is just flexing their versatility muscles, trying out a new flavor? Or could this be a case of inspiration turning into a full-blown K-pop identity crisis? Hmm, we'll never know until we watch the whole music video. That's it for this update, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you in the next videos.